The funny thing is that they are still doing very little in the software business this year. And they can still sell 2,530 million consoles. Which is the strength of their current top line in the console itself. And as I said, you have to look at this from the perspective of potential Switch owners. Not just ours, who will naturally be more concerned about the possible lack of software in the future. Since the Switch is a combination of handhelds and Nintendo home consoles, you really have to aggregate the sales numbers to get a true reflection of its success. But even so, it's clear that this device has been a huge commercial success for everyone involved. Nintendo estimated that it would sell 24 million consoles by March 2021, and has now raised its forecast to 26, which means that the Switch will overtake the GBA and become the company's fourth most successful hardware platform. Nintendo's latest financial report for the nine months ending December 31st, 2020, shows that the Switch has surpassed 3DS sales in just four years. Nintendo faced a tough decision after the release of the Wii U and 3DS. Its handheld business was in decline and had just hit its worst home console performance ever. The Switch was a stroke of genius that seems to have little merit here. If you do it right, the Switch is the right decision because it allows Nintendo to save on the cost of developing another console and continue to develop software in the same direction. The Nintendo Switch is Nintendo's best option in the current situation because trying to compete with Sony and Microsoft in the mainstream market would be suicide. It already has. It has Switch and Switch Lite, which is Nintendo's current answer to the situation with the two older consoles. In 46 months, 79.87 million copies of the Nintendo Switch have been sold on the market. If the Switch had been released at the same time as the PS4 and X1, it could have suffered. The Switch hit the market at the right time, in the right place and with one of the best games of all time on its side. It was also the perfect console for COVID life last year and the best game for it in Animal Crossing.